Hi, this is Big Los, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. We're right outside the gates to Black Lake in the Merchant Quarter. And let's go talk to this guard to see if he'll let us in, maybe. Although I'm not going to hold my breath. No one's been able to get in or out. I wonder if that also applies to Lord Dasher, since his castle is inside there. Lord Dasher, in case you didn't know, was the guy in the last episode at the very end. He runs the city. He's nobility. Well, anyways, right outside the gate is the house to where Leldon is. Leldon's hideout, where Ophala marked it on our map. It's right here. We're going in. We're going to go steal his coin. Everybody, follow me! Right, Nishika? That's the plan, right? Step with me. Come on. Follow along. It's going to be uh, a quick in and out maneuver. That's what she said. Okay, so you got doors on either side here. Now, I got search mode activated because since this is a den of thieves, there's a lot of traps. Everybody, follow me! And we got two thieves over here. Let's throw this choking powder at him, see if it works. Now there's a trap right there. And they made their save, so it didn't work at all. To your weapons! And don't let up! Let's Attack! pull everybody out into the uh You too, Kelgar. Let's pull everybody out into the main room. Well, look let them come to up. us. I don't want to run over that trap. Close the door. We'll let them open the door and then we'll just let them have it. Now these thieves have a high HP and they're gonna come at you from multiple directions. As you can see that other door is right. open now. No Kelgar, don't go over there. Uh, looks like we have company. Yeah, we're just going to take these thieves out. We're not going to run away, Nishka. And then we're going to rest up and heal our wounds. Captain? Don't worry about that guy. Just close the door. Let him open. Alright. Now we'll get him. All right, you should good. Hells, hells, hells. Was that all right? Stop running back there. That's the exit. Oh, Nishka, you're not doing real good. Maybe that's why you were running. Alright, well, let's recover this trap. Actually, it's a noise trap. I don't think you can really recover that, can you? I guess you can. I got a minor spike trap kit out of it, even though it was a noise trap. Same thing on this side. There's going to be a trap over here, too. Go into search mode to find it. There it is. Noise trap. So when you set it off, it actually won't be a spike trap. It'll just make a lot of noise. Like that. We got another trap over here, an arrow trap. Well, how can I help? It's a good thing my evasion 
works so well. Alright, Nishka, you got a higher modifier. You do this. Alright, there's another one over there. Let's try to get it. And there's one in the doorway. And it looks like you sprung that one, too. Alright, let's just... Let's just disable it. Probably have a greater success doing that. Now that's amazing that they know where all the tripwires are. I believe are. so. They run in here and they don't trigger any of those traps. You know what? I think we'll put these traps in Nishka's inventory. I don't think we need them. Getting kind of up there How with can the I weight. Help? There's another trap there. Let's disable that. Oh man, that room is full of guys. Okay. Let's pull everyone back into this room. Hells, hells, hells. Let him come to us. Alright. Let him have it. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, Kelgar, what's wrong with you? Give me Alright! You look like you're on Smash TV. Oh, Nishka! Knock down and you're doing real bad on the health. Got him. All right, a plus one rapier. I may actually switch that as to my main weapon because I believe my intelligence is 18. That means I would have a plus four modifier to add to my damage. That's more than half of what a extra 1d6 of energy damage half of a 1d6 would be a 3 this load is a bit of a strain plus my strength that would make it to like a plus 5 something like that and then I would add another one for it being a plus 1 weapon Yeah, I gotta consider doing that in the future. In the meantime, let's see if we can get this coin and search for traps. Now, I know there's a trap here somewhere. I believe so. No. All right. I guess just open this door and just go on through. Ah, there it is. Okay. You know what? I think. How can I, I help? I think Nishka should go disable or try to recover the trap. <laughs> Ouch! Twenty-three damage to Kelgar and Eleni. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. It would have been 23 to Nishka too, but I think she absorbs 5 points of energy damage because she's a tiefling. Okay, so... This jail cell holds all of Lelage treasure. So let's get all these coins. You can actually 
get all sorts of different piles here. No, it's not. Why is it not doing anything? Let's get behind it and do it. Okay, got it. 213 gold, that's good. And one more pile. 229 gold. And we got the Cloak of Arachnida, like I mentioned in a previous episode. I think it was two episodes ago. Something like that. How can I help? Alright. So Nisha's gonna wear it and it will allow Nishka to cast web. Well now. That's why I said it as a hotkey. So if there's a group of enemies I can take by surprise, I can hit them with web and then hit them with darkness. Okay, now this yes. this coin well, improves no. reflex what save by How can I help? three. Well now. What do you want? Now who would benefit the most from this? You have to wear it as an amulet. I think yes. everyone else is wearing an amulet. I am listening. The amulet they're wearing Yes. is probably more important. Step than with that. me. Come on. The only I'm one who's listening. not wearing an amulet is Eleni, so I guess I'll just have her wear that. I believe so. Until I find a amulet of will plus two or greater. Or not amulet of will. Like a periapt of wisdom. Since she's a druid, she needs her wisdom increased as much as possible. That'll make the saves against her spells harder to do by increasing the difficulty class. Well, I guess there's nothing in this room. No traps, no nothing, huh? I guess we might as well just exit. Yep, I don't think there's any more treasure in here. No, just uh just that empty chest. That's about it. All right. Let's take off. Yeah, it looks like I got everything. There's no treasure, no more traps in here. That front room, there's nothing in there. I'm telling you, I heard something. And I'm telling you, it's the wind blowing between your ears. Let's finish our rounds then. Hey, the door's open. Oh, gods! The coin! The one he stole from the demon girl! One of us has to tell him. So a thief slipped in under your nose? I'm glad you told me. And this thief was kind enough to leave a note. How considerate. So, Nishka, war is it? You know, you really ought to not stab yourself. I could see that dagger going right through you. No, it's just a glitch in the game. Just like one of many glitches. Okay, well, we still haven't got enough experience points to level up yet, but we're right on the verge. Now, I don't think there's any random battles around here so I can level up. Now, before... I go and do another mission. I'm going to switch Quora in for Nishka. 
because Quora has more usefulness with her spells. All right, this little guy over here. Me. He's a kobold. His name is Deacon, and he's also from the Stick first with game. Me. Come on, follow along. Yes. And if you played the first game, you would recognize him. I don't recognize him because I didn't play the first game, but want? I just know that. And if you pickpocket him, you get Gloves of the Minstrel. But I already have Greater Gloves of the Minstrel. Which I've already forgotten where I got them from. Because I'm not going to use them. They're only good for bards. Step with me. Come on. So let's talk to this guy, and he'll give you a little bit of backstory concerning him. He'll also tell you that they won't rent to him because he's a kobold and people think kobolds are vermin. I guess kobolds are like little lizard creatures or something like that. In D&D &D, at least they are. In Quest for Gloria, I don't think a kobold was like a lizard creature, but it definitely was magical and did shoot spells at you. And he's also a high-end shop, and he sells prestige class specific armors. So if you're going for a certain prestige class, this would be a, the place to get the armor suited for your class. However, I'm not going to do the, the prestige classes. I'm going to stick with my original plan. And he does sell some useful items for crafting like essences and fairy dust and with fairy dust you just use the mortar and the pestle on, on that and it'll give you a random essence sometimes it could be very good sometimes you could get a glowing essence or a radiant essence okay yeah, I think I do get bitter damage with the plus one. Yeah, my attack bonus is only seven with the Blade of the Gladiator. It goes up to ten with the Rapier. But the damage is where it's at. I mean, I know I get an extra D6 of damage from Acid. But that could be listening. anywhere from one to six. When I'm wielding the rapier, the... I think it's cunning insight or something like that. The feat that I described earlier where I add my intelligence I bonus. I believe so. That's just a, a constant number that is added to damage. And I think I'd rather take the average than a chance roll. Alright, so let's head on back to the docks district, or as Nasher was saying, people were calling it, the Thieves' Quarter. And we're in for another cutscene. Any day now. That's the thing, it always takes so long to load. We came at once when we received your summons, Lord Garius. At such distances, I did not realize your aspect could... Shadows grant many gifts, Torio. But time is short, and the longer we speak, the greater the chance of detection. Torio, inform me of your troubles in infiltrating Black Lake Lawn, so I am sending assistance. Has she? The Sea Ghost sails from Luscan to the docks of Neverwinter, carrying allies of our cause. Allies, my lord? Yes. I have dispatched agents to assist your infiltration of Black Lake, Dorio. Unless you disagree. Not at all. But I had hoped for the chance to see to the matter personally, without... I only need more time, my lord. I will find a way past Black Lake's walls. No, Lorn. You will be needed elsewhere to deliver a message for me to our other allies to the east. 
I could spare one of the Circle of Blades, my lord. They are eager for work, both in infiltrating Black Lake or sending word to the Orcs. No, it is not an assassination I need, Lorne. Only your presence. You will be escorting some of our priest allies, who, like the Orcs, require a more... personal touch. We are sending the Shadow Priests to Old Owlwell? As for you, Torio, watch for the Sea Ghost. I shall be in contact with you shortly before its arrival. Alright, so that was Black Garius talking to two of his underlings. And one of them was named Lorne. Now, weren't we supposed to be looking for... Bevel's brother, Lorne? Lorne Starling? Could that be him? How can I help? Only time will tell. Okay, so we're gonna rob I believe so. Raylene until we get a an item. Yes. No, sometimes they'll just give you gold, and gold, so. and gold, and then you get the item, or you'll get the item right away. Everybody, follow it is kind of random. Step with me. Come on. That's follow along. Gold, and now we got a belt. So let's check it out. And even with my high lore skill, I still didn't. I am listening. Identify it. But Eleni did. It's a belt of agility plus one. Fortunately, Captain Savajo has yeah. boots of dexterity plus three. So I think Kelgar would be the one who'd benefit the most. Well, anyways, this well, is Big Los signing off. What do you want? Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode, and have a good day.